Welcome to the APS discussions. Today, experts Ferran and Nuri will focus on the difference between APS and ERP. Hello, everyone. So as we know that ERP systems also have their uh, planning and scheduling features, but they have uh, certain limitations that keep you away from reaching the higher levels of efficiency and productivity. So uh, also ERP systems, uh, they are too simply simple in a way because they're only sequencing the work orders. They are just planning based on their start and finish dates and they uh, put them in order so that you have the visibility of the plan. But you don't, it disregards the many constraints that are important for your scheduling to have the accurate result. So one of them is, for example, to reduce the setup and the change over times. With APS, you can have scheduling results which are uh, optimizing your setups based on algorithms. So they check your constraints, they check your tools, if they're available or not. And based on that, they can put the work orders one after the other so that you can have an optimize uh, setup. They can also maximize the use of resources. So by this way, you will have increased productivity and the system optimizes the operations in real time through advanced algorithms. And that's why you have a better balance in production and better efficiency. So we can proceed with the next steps with Mr. Nuri. So in the ERP, you have infinite capacity means ERP will never check when you add new production order. And ERP can put in the same time a lot of production order, which you don't have enough resource. Uh, so even if you are working three shifts, it will be not be enough for any condition. So what APS do? APS, especially scheduling part, schedule based on your resource, all your production order based on different objectives. It can be your sales order, delivery date, it can be maximize your capacity of the workstation. It can be your uh, available resource and stock. So, but ERP will never check about your available stocks. It will just schedule infinite capacity. The another one in APS, you are able to execute different scenario. So based on your configuration, you can change some settings. And then when you reschedule, your result will be totally different. But in ERP, it's only input data and you will see what you input in the end. ERP will not optimize or will not uh, create different scenario. But in APS, you can create different simulation. You can compare a lot of metrics and you can make better decision. Main focus in the APS is not scheduling. It is optimized based on your objectives with many constraints. So the best APS should uh, provide you multiple objectives. So in this case, the new technology, it's possible to execute a lot of different complex algorithm and obtain better result. So in the end, APS, if you use APS, your customer satisfaction will be increased. Why? Because you will deliver on time. And also, when your customer asks you when you will deliver our product, you can immediately tell the date because APS will give you all the time predicted delivery date based on all your resource, including your operator, including your workstation, including your available stocks, your calendars, and different kind of metrics. So there are actually many different differences, but we focus in this slide mostly important ones. So MetaSmart Factory Solution APS providing all this what we are discussing. Thank you so much.